Uh, preparing the bike here for Rally du Maroc in October. Um, the organizers uh, of uh, most of the world rallies and uh, Dakar as well, they've done away with the paper road books uh, that we're so used to. Basically, it's a roll of paper in a box that you scroll with a switch. And there are digital road books now, so it's a tablet. And you don't even get the tablet um, to, to try before you have to rent it there. So all you get is a uh, is this bracket um, and the repeaters. These are called speedo caps. They're just repeaters that give you the trip and heading uh, sort of in a, another place, higher, uh, closer to eye level. But yeah, you just get this bracket um, and you're left to your own devices to figure out how to put on your bike. There isn't any, uh, nobody's manufacturing any kind of handlebar mounts for this so we had to make it ourselves so this is just a prototype obviously it's very rough um this is just to get the shape right and get the angles and dimensions right and basically this is what we're going to make out of aluminium because this is extremely heavy um but all you have to do is start with a steel plate uh cut it to dimensions really it's a square it's a rectangle and uh get it bent and that's basically it we're going to make this out of aluminium next and yeah, the bracket we have on the handlebar is actually holding up. We didn't, we didn't make the bracket. This comes from a company in Italy called uh, Twalcom, and they have a great website, and they sell lots of uh, different uh, rally brackets, handlebar brackets, and also uh, back plates for uh, traditional roadbooks. They have digital roadbook brackets as well. But this one, we're basically, all it is is a crossbar, you see the crossbar back there, and uh, yeah, we basically need to make a plate for it. The good thing about the Twelcom bracket for World Rally Raid is it has an extra space to put uh, more devices, which we need for the satellite tracking device. That is also a rental, and there's also a bracket that goes here, and we need to make new, uh, uh, basically, mounting points for that. And so... Yeah, this is gonna be completely custom built, um, and we're not gonna even know uh, if everything, well, fits perfectly when we're until we're at the race. So we're gonna put the finishing touches on this prototype, uh, maybe tweak the dimensions, add some supports to the back, and finally we're gonna make the finished product. So stay tuned for that video, because I'm very excited to uh, see one of the first parts that we've actually made um, from, from scratch for a rally bike.